a second. Oh, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> It was more than humid in the heat was more than hungry in the cars were squinting, spitting diesel fumes. <clears throat> the bulls were running wild because they're big and mean and safer than the children playing cricket with their shoes. The next morning we woke a man with a seven hour drive. A very rushed up in court player with boats breaking and children staring. There were so many fewer questions and stars were stealing with just the holes in heaven. And there were so many fewer questions and stars were stealing with just the holes in heaven. Disembarking from the port with no mistakes, let me sort and moving sound the engine running smooth. The fishes were quite friendly once we drowned them with our sweet talk and we bribed them with our cigarettes and booze. <coughs> the next morning we woke a man with the sunrise to the right. Moving back north to Port Blair, where boats break and children stare. There were so many fewer questions when stars were still just the holes in heaven. There were so many fewer questions when stars were still just the holes in heaven. Holes in Heaven, Mr. Jack Jones song, Not the Boxer, from his album On and On. That was a cool project. It was uh, They went on a sailing trip, him and a filmmaker friend of his, and they documented the whole thing, wrote some songs and recorded some songs, and uh, the film is quite cool. Highly recommended, I think. Lots of surfing. If you're into surfing, I remember when I was little, we used to watch, what were those uh, skiing movies? Oh, man. There was this whole franchise of ski movies made by this dude, and... Uh, so, like, if you're really into skiing and like watching people ski, you could watch these movies. Oh, I wish I could remember the names of them now, or the name of the producer. Someone will uh, put it in the comments, no doubt. So, today I went uh, dog walking, solo, quite an experience, trepidation. It was the first time I've been dog walking uh, since the 80s, I believe. I think the last time I walked a dog personally myself was my mom's miniature poodle in the 80s. And so that was quite an adventure. I wasn't quite sure what to do. I'm not quite sure what the etiquette is regarding getting the, uh, it's these dogs right here, if you were wondering. Augie and Nona, who bark at everyone and everything. Um, they can. And so, I don't know, I guess this is a delivery guy. Regardless, okay. Don't let that worry you. So I'm not sure about the etiquette of whether you can let dogs go onto other people's property. And I had plenty of plastic bags because uh, it's more ecologically sound, apparently, to uh, scoop up um, excrement in plastic and then dispose of it that way than just kicking it under a random bush. Anyhow, um, good thing we have uh, paper straws now <laughs> and uh, other things. And, uh, but some, one weird thing, I was walking down uh, along the lakeshore with all these multi-million dollar homes along the way, and uh, I saw some dogs uh, coming, a lady walking her two dogs, come, and one was off leash, I believe, uh, coming in the opposite direction about 50 yards away. And then uh, one of these dogs, one of the ones I was walking, was sort of sitting in that pensive pose where it's like almost getting ready to attack, you know, or strike or bark or make a scene of some sort. And... Um, this chick, this gal, this she's about my age, um, took out her phone 
and you know, I see the. Li I'm thinking, okay, she's just uh, you know checking something in an odd manner. But then you know, she's pointing it right at me, and I see the lights on the cameras go on, and she click a photo, and I'm like, did you get a good photo? And she goes, oh, the house behind you is beautiful. <sighs> Bullshit! What are you doing? I mean, it just it, at least don't lie. I mean, she could have said something like, oh, I thought you were Brad Pitt. Or something just something you know but so she took this phone and so then i asked her well did you get a good photo of me and she mumbled something or i didn't hear what she said and uh we moved on i think if i could tell by her expression she might be on a number of medications it looked like she uh, in her younger days was quite an attractive uh woman and so uh that's sad but that's what happens um, so what am I doing these days? Our update, working on my website. <clears throat> Let's see, a couple nights ago, I came across a, a navigation solution, which uh, I've been thinking about more that I need to uh, refine. So that was good, making it image-based rather than text-based. Um, and I w last night, I was doing some time-lapse uh, videos of my peinture, my paintings. And so you can go to my gram of instas, which is Electric Paul, at Electric Paul, all one word in English. And uh, from there you can link to my uh, YouTube channel and you can see uh, a super fun time-lapse uh, video of me painting uh, one of my latest works uh, entitled uh, Count de Terre, Le Goule, Vous de, des Cascades, Essay 1. And, um, and enjoy that and uh, please do subscribe if so inclined because I only need 950 more um, good people such as yourselves to uh, join up uh, before I can live stream and upload videos more than 15 minutes long and uh, also I've been thinking about merch what sort of uh, merchandise I want to put up there because I do sell paintings uh, but they're you know hundreds of uh, monetary units each um, what a, in a monetary instrument no, units and uh, so I want to offer something a little bit less expensive and uh, I put it uh, I, I publish uh, posters through this uh, print to order um, service and at first I was going to be skeptical about the quality but actually the printing itself is really quite tight and so uh, if there are any of my paintings that you want to um, uh, purchase uh, and, and hang on your uh, the wall of your kitchen, bathroom, garage, guest room, doghouse. Um, just let me know which one of my works you like. And you can also go to the Gram of Instas as my website is currently under development. I'll be, uh, I should be uh, getting it uh, up together pretty well in a couple few weeks. I'm just um, putting all the elements into place and then I'm going to refine those. I want to get the, the functionality in place uh, before I get too persnickety about the details. I think that might be the most efficient uh, manner to do so. And also I wanted to say, if you're in the Seattleplex area, in the Puget Sound area of the Pacific Northwest of the United States of America, um, and you uh, are free, uh, I'm here for a couple more weeks at least. And uh, I'd love to see you. If you'd love to see me, the uh, sentiment would be mutual. I think that's all I had to say. But please do tell me, what was this lady doing taking a picture of me? Maybe she thought I was um, David Spade. Air was more than humid and the heat was more than hungry and the cars were swinging, spitting diesel fumes. The bulls were running wild cause their breathing needed sacred and the children were playing cricket with no shoes. The next morning we woke up and with the seven hour drive Where we were stuck in Salt Lake Where boats break and children stand There were so many fewer questions When stars were still just a hole from heaven mm -mm. But there were so many fewer questions When stars were still just a hole from heaven
Disembarking from the port with no mistakes of any sort And moving sound, the engine's running the soon Officials were quite friendly once we drown them with our sweet Drown them, bribe them with our cigarettes and booze The next morning we woke up man with the sunrise to the right Moving back to old Fort Blair where boats break and children stand. Gotta go. Ciao for now. Easy.